Redent, still I want to speak to you concerning the quantum field of possibilities. The quantum field whereby all things are possible. This field of which I speak, it's an invisible field. It's an energetic, magnetic field. And this field, when you tap into this field, that is what will bring you into the law of liberty. That is what will set you free. And that is why they have kept it secretly from the masses and give the masses false identity by pointing them to look outwardly through the use of the Bible being interpreted to them as literal and as secular history. And all of that is to keep them in a perpetual state of mental slavery. Now, many people are aware of physical slavery that was done to those of African descent. But very few are aware of mental slavery through secular Christianity. Mental slavery through religion. And so this systematic slavery is to deter you away from this quantum field of possibilities. This quantum field that will bring you into the world whereby all things are possible to you. This field that is on the right brain hemisphere of your mind. This field of you tapping in to your true potential by changing your DNA. And so, in order for you to do that, you have to unlearn and relearn. You have to reprogram your subconscious mind and remove all of the limiting beliefs that have been impressed upon your subconscious mind from a child. So, with someone like myself, growing up in the Caribbean, that was conquered and colonized, where most of the people have a colonial mentality and they still believe in the Bible as secular history and they keep looking outwardly for a Caucasian man to come from the sky and fail to realize that the son, as in the S-U-N of God, has been coming back each and every morning and they are beholding each and every day the dawning of a new day. They are beholding a death, a burial, and a resurrection and they fail to understand such simplicity. These are the people who would always be the borrower and not the lender. They will always be beneath and not above. They will always be in idolatry, looking outwardly and missing the inner field of possibilities. So, my brother and my sisters, in order for you to tap into this quantum field of possibilities, you have to come to realize that the central character of the Bible is actually man's imagination. For God and man are one. And you are having this human experience in a state of amnesia. Because it's the only way you can be expressed here in a body. It is true death. So God had to die. And this death is the sleep of amnesia. And the dream is what would express you here in this physical realm. And unless you awake from the dream of life, you will never experience the quantum field, much as to teach someone about the quantum field. So when I speak of the quantum field, I am not theorizing. I'm speaking from what I would have experienced because I experienced the true virgin birth. That's why I know this whole story of Jesus and Mary. It's a lie. I experienced the death, the burial, the resurrection. I experienced all of these things. And that's how I come to discover real alchemy, the transmutation of energy into matter. Everything being taken from the quantum feel a possibilities and be made possible here in this three-dimensional world. So you are a
own dimensional being that is magnetic and electrical. And so, my brother and my sisters, when you impress these teachings upon your subconscious mind and you exercise your imagination, there is a great change that is taking place deep within. So if you just think that you're just using affirmation haphazardly, or you're just practicing certain rituals just because you want to get money, then you have it wrong. That is why they make sure they get you in a state whereby you're gullible and feed you with the law of attraction without enough information to bring you to self-realization. But I'm here to put the pieces together just like our ancestor Abdullah, the black mystic from Ethiopia, who was never got as mentor. And to prove what I'm saying is true, the, and this country that I'm living in, the biggest business is owned and run by the Gallards. And everything is still there. The mission statement, everything. The picture of Joseph Gallard, which was Neville Gallard's father, is still there in the building. I can take anyone to my country. You can travel from any part of the world. Come to my country and I carry right there and let you take your own eyes and see. They have known this knowledge from ever since. Even before Neville would have met Abdullah. His family knew these things. Okay? And they were forfeited from lands and slaves in Barbados. That's why Neville would give you the impression that they grew up from an unfortunate or uh, more poor family. But they had lands, but some was forfeited from them. Okay? So, my brother and my sisters, I'm saying all of this to say to you that your belief system is what is blocking you from this quantum field of possibilities. Because if you change your belief system and you give them back their Jesus and Mary story, which they give you as secular history, and you accept your Christ self, your higher self, your inner self, and you believe the message of self-realization, and you stop chasing after money, and instead you seek to serve humanity, instead you seek to tap into your ability and your creativity and think about how you can help humanity, how you can help your brothers and your sisters to awake from this dream of life, how you can teach them to use the law in their life, to help them to deal with the laws of Caesar. If you can have that kind of mindset and you do not want to chase after wealth, to feed your ego, then the ancestors are willing to help you. They are willing to transmute certain wisdom to you because they want to come to you and, 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 and they, they, they want to help you to be more aware and become more enlightened because in their DNA, it has always been man know thyself. And I'm not speaking about people who existed thousands of years ago. The energies are all right here, but you have to tap into their energy. You have to channel their energy by knowing that they, you have had great, great and mighty and wise ancestors who walked this planet, who were so connected to nature and they were channeling, channeling the energy of nature and using it to create their reality consciously. They knew a science and technology of alchemy by being closer to nature. You see, when people are going to comment and ask me what kind of uh, <laughs> what kind of Lamborghini I drive in, what the fuck? What do I want with a Lambo in the Caribbean? I don't solve these things. The most important thing for me is to solve humanity, is to bring value to humanity, is to uplift humanity, is to help my brothers and my sisters to awake from all form of mental slavery. I don't give a fuck about your money. I don't give a fuck about, about your cars. So let me send a message out there. Talking about what kind of Lamborghini you're driving. I'm, I'm not the kind who chase after those things. I know what it is to walk bare feet. I know what it is to shit in an outside toilet. I know what it is to, to cook and what fire. I know what it is to be hungry. Can't get with your money. This is all about spirituality. 
This is all about identity because for too long many have been surviving and stolen identity, stealing others' energy and stealing others' identity and giving them false identity and want to act in a way of false unity, talking about we are one. Yes, there's one universal consciousness and there's one truth. The truth of knowing who you are. That is why you have to give back those who give you this whole Jesus and Mary story, this whitewash of your spirituality where they interpret the Bible to you as literal and secular history. I never said to go and burn your Bible. I said to learn it esoterically, learn it metaphysically, learn it psychologically, learn to understand the law of mentalism, learn to understand that everything has to do with your psyche. Basic common sense. So all I'm saying, use your common sense to contact this quantum field, to contact this invisible field, this field of possibility, big possibilities, because your spirit having a human experience, live from the spiritual world and let the spiritual reflect in the three-dimensional world. Like some time ago, someone sent a video with me with some guy in America named Omar Johnson talking about how much bombs and guns other nations have and trying to say that black people should have bombs and guns just like them. And I tell this person, what the fuck are you talking about? You cannot shoot what you cannot see. You can't bomb what you cannot see. Our weapon is our spirituality. The key is for us to look inwardly to discover that our real identity is our divinity. So my brother and my sister, we have to get rid of all of these kind of people who want to make you believe that you deserve and looking for a leader when you are the leader of your life. You are the Lord and master of your life. You are responsible for yourself. So this one is a rant and a wake up call. To tap into the quantum field, the field of possibilities, so that the world would not look one sided, showing that there's only certain people that can tap into certain science and technology. Because when you look around, you want to be example. We, we must create example, not just talk, 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 talk. i sick and tired of this talk, talk. That is why when I came into my awareness, I was warned of a disease that follow our people that is called paratism, whereby you just say what you hear someone else say and you become intellectual. And that is you being religious in another way. You see, talking all of these things and being knowledgeable and talking all this shit that a lot of people like to shoot, okay? That is just you creating a religion out of spirituality. Spirituality is not how much you can quote. It's not how much you know intellectually. Because if you've been bought it from an intellectual seed, you're going to become intellectual. Like some people saying to me, Oh, you're wearing an ank. You, you don't talk about the Bible, talk about Kemet. Kemet was not used to brainwash people and keep people in secular Christianity. It was the Bible that was used. Therefore, we have to use reverse psych psych psychology. There must be a man who can interpret the Bible in a way to set the people free. Then they will get to understand chemotology afterwards. Because it's hidden also in the Bible. I never study chemotology. I don't need to study chemotology. It's in my DNA. So there is an awakening... That is, our, that is our wait, waiting each and every one of us that will help us to be connected with the quantum field. That's all you know for sure. There's an electromagnetic orgasm that you must experience. That's how you will know these things. I can speak about all of these things. Never read a book. Why? Because of one great and mighty experience but they have many other experiences right our adumbrations are adding up to this mighty explosion this mighty awakening so my brother and my sister i just want to say to you there's all been people just like myself down through the ages okay you need to get more in touch with your ancestors not just by talking but you must get certain experience
And those experiences is what gonna help you. Okay? So my brother, my sister, I can go on and on and on, but I just want to say to you that there's definitely an invisible field. There's a quantum field of possibilities. And if you want to tap into that field, you have to definitely reprogram your subconscious. You have to get rid of your religious belief. You have to get rid of what was handed down to you from your mother and your father and your mother, 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 mother and your father, 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 generations and generations back and break the whole fucking... Um, plantation mentality and when you get rid of that whole plantation mentality and you tap into your true identity and you really find your divinity you would be happy you 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 you, you wouldn't be chasing after money no you 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 would want to just give value to humanity that what means more to you because you understand law and order once you give, it must come back to you. If you give value, value must come back to you. You have to raise your standard. You have to raise your value. And it starts from within. Everything takes place within. If you are getting frustrated and depressed because you're not getting material things and you're not getting the kind of gratification that you're looking for, it is because you have the wrong mindset. You got, you're supposed to be happy in every situation if you want to win in life. You have to win from within. You want to be a millionaire, you have to become a millionaire from within. And you have to forget about the daughters who are going to tell you this and tell you that. You see some people judge you by the color of your skin. They, they, they already put poverty on you. So things that they wouldn't question other people. They, nobody ever questioned Eolaka. Eola, there's a man named Eolaka Jr. Who, who say he makes so much a million from you. They never got a technique to do this, that, that. Nobody never questioned him. But they would say, oh yeah, he's manifesting because he's blown up. He's blown up on YouTube. If by now you don't know certain people giving certain favors, we all can preach the same truth, but we got to work harder. Why we got to work harder? Because we are more powerful beings. And because we are more powerful beings, everyone is trying to get the edge. Everyone is trying to be ahead. So you have to understand the game. You have to understand the game of life and know how to play the game of life. So my brother, my sisters, this rant here is saying to you, stop get, stop get caught up in the chasing after things. Stop get caught up in the getting and see to know the being. Listen to those who have been initiated into the mysteries of the ancestors to wake your ass up. That's why you don't hear me coming here boasting about I manifest this, I manifest that. You've been manifesting all your life. That's why many of our people be manifesting dreams of some, some Caucasian man coming from the sky, manifesting dreams of some hell and, 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 some, and some heaven outside of themselves because they believe it's outside of themselves when it is taking place right in their own damn consciousness in the dream world. You're dreaming. Where is it taking place? In your fucking mind. It's time for people to wake up. So my brother, my sisters, I can go on and on. I can make this a serious, serious rant. Okay, because right now this is the lion start to roar. Okay, there's the lamb and there's always the lion inside of you. It's time for people to wake up. Don't get brainwashed. They give you Jesus, now they want to give you Neville. <laughs> it's not like that, my brother and my sisters. It's about self-realization. It's not about just manifesting these temporal things when you're going to leave here sometime. Don't put the car before the house. Put the house first. The power first. Get the power first. That's what I'm saying. Get the power first. The power to get wealth. Get that power first. Your God power. When they say that God give you the power to get wealth, it means he give you himself and himself is your life. When I see a black man and myself saying that God is separated from the universe, that's such foolishness. If you don't have life inside of you, could you tell me about God, about the Bible, about Jesus and all those foolishness that was given to you by the slave master who enslaved your black ass? So my brother, my sister, it's time to wake up. 
even the streets in my country, the names of the streets. They, 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 they have a, 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 a monument right in the, the, the heart of the city with a Caucasian man as a soldier who fought <laughs> in war, in some, something about World War I and bullshit. Many people, there's writings on, 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 the, on the station in the, in the city and no one ever goes there and read it to see who was the first commissioner of police who started the police system, who set up the police system, who set up the school system, who set up the religious system. It's time to break mental slavery. And I'm not going to sit here and try to play any game for views. I'm speaking the truth. Some people like to say, oh, I, I unsubscribed. <laughs> I don't care. I stand for truth. And I speak the truth. Whether you like it or you don't like it. It's the truth at the end of the day because why? The truth can only be found within yourself. And whatever is within me, I must express it out. I have no hatred towards anyone, but I speak the truth. So let the truth set you free. So my brother, my sister, tap in to that invisible field. It's within you and all around you. But you will not tap into it. That is around you if you do not tap, first of all, into that which is within you. The invisible field that is within you first. Then you'll be in touch with the eater. And then you might get a visitation from your ancestors. They want to communicate with you. I didn't plan to say all these things, but they want me to say these things to you. So it's time to wake up. Okay? So whether I say my brother, my sisters, I can go on and on and on and on and on and on, but... I'm going to come to a close here. And let me say to people who might want to comment, if you listen to me and you want to make any kind of stupid comment, let me tell you something. There are things about Neville Garden that was removed off the internet. So don't get me started, okay? I'll just say that. That's all I will say for now. So you can't fool me, okay? So I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense, if it really resonates with you and you haven't subscribed already, I just want to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to find me on Instagram, if you like to find me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And if you feel strongly led to support this work, I just want to remind you that we have a PayPal and that the link is always down below. Also, you have a choice if you want to be a part of my Patreon community and support this work continually. I would be very much grateful as we work together for the advancement and the upliftment of all of humanity. Pointing each and everyone to look inwardly to discover that their real identity is actually their divinity and that true salvation is actually self realization. Also, I have the Inner Sun Science and Technology courses for people who are donating 20 or more dollars. And it's all about you tapping into your melanin sun, the inner sun that is within you to understand that the Bible is actually the sun book. And that's why you say that the Lord thy God is a sun. Yes, your soul. Your soul man, your solar man, okay, is like the light of the sun. It's your light body, your invisible body, where you can definitely discover the quantum field of possibilities. So basically, don't let no one fool you. It is your belief system that is keeping you in a perpetual state of mental slavery. Get rid of it before it's too late. So let me go on and say to you that... As you can see, whatever the sun shines upon, it brings forth bountifully. Therefore, if you find your soul man, which is the kingdom that is within you, you'll definitely tap into your creativity and you'll definitely use your ability because you'll find that inner science and technology within you that they are using to express and the outside to give you SpaceX, to give you Tesla, to give you all of these things. The same power is in you. You have to change your belief system. So if you feel strong and let to listen to those videos, I'll definitely, definitely encourage you to do so. At this time, I just want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.